fairy to fam, welcome back and be welcome over. We're gonna do a vid today. We're gonna do a vid today about everything, about everything. And I like to do in the weekends. I like to do the macro uh, vids about Bitcoin, where we are, where we're heading, what we're doing. So this is a well, maybe an important one if you like it. And well, we're just gonna talk about whatever out there because I'm just I just opened up the mic. And I really haven't planned like usual. I never plan or prepare my vids. I just open up the charts and I've, whatever I feel like talking about, I'm going to talk about today. So we're going to talk a bit about Bitcoin. We're going to talk a bit about uh, altcoins, um, where we're heading a bit about the financial markets and why we're seeing what we're seeing and how I do the market analysis. About the um, uh, Maxi France Trading Group, I keep getting so much uh, dms etc guys it's very simple it's a free private trading group the only thing is required it's pinned on my twitter so if you just read that one or you watch one of my vids i keep repeating myself you have to be trading on maxi on the lowest fees available so if you are stubborn and you like to trade on binance bybit qco and whatever out there and you are paying in my opinion, I and mean, it, it's just facts. I've showed it in my tutorial of Maxi. If you like to trade paying sick high fees, then you cannot get into the free private teaching group. So if you want to join, there's a link below. Maxi, put and uh, make an account, be an active trader over there. Send me your UID. The team will check if you're really uh, active trading over there and you'll get access to the private group. So that's about the Maxi trading group. I keep repeating myself, but it's because a lot of new people come in and they want to join. Okay, so Bitcoin. This tweet, I tweeted this one, uh, I don't know, a week ago or something like that. If you look at Bitcoin, I tweeted this one. And the, 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 the last time that we had eight green candles on Bitcoin was in 2017. It's over here, guys. This was the last time. It's about seven, eight years ago. So, guys this is this is something that i like to, to uh, guys i'm i'm a sick sick person i'm a sick person because i do a lot of trading on the low time frames but i'm also i'm really someone who likes to chart bitcoin on the macro and i want to see on the macro where we're heading what we're doing well the guys you have been i've been telling you a lot of a lot of times in many vids many tweets we had this really strong ramp up but i told you guys when we will reach the, these 48, 40 regions, there is just a lot of going on over here. So over here, we don't expect Bitcoin to just pump up to the 50, 60, 70, 80, whatever. So over here, we got to meet resistance. And maybe that's even good for us traders, because why? Because we are DJs, we like altcoins. So when Bitcoin starts cooling down, a lot of altcoins could make nice runs, just like we nailed all those trades the past days, past weeks in the in the trading group, on Atom, on uh, Neutron. Uh, we made a lot of a lot of trades, a lot of trades, a lot of altcoins we traded. But what is very important when we are trading is that you have the the take profit mindset. Because why? You cannot. You just can't when Bitcoin is at resistance levels and already made a big rise. You cannot hold those trades for long term. You can do it, by the way. You can do it if you're very low leverage. You know what you're doing. You have enough. Uh, your stop loss is far enough. But it's risky in my opinion. So you're going to hold it long. But we are traders. We like to make. You have to see it like this. When I go to my office and I go to my computer and I open up the charts, it's just like I'm going to work. What I'm going to do is, let me give you guys a very simple explanation. Suppose I've got a portfolio of 10K, yes? I'm going in, I'm going to watch the charts, I'm gonna eye what opportunity can like, just like today. Today I was eyeing uh, LRC, I was watching it, I was charting and I thought maybe this one could make a nice one up. So what I do is I made, I shared it in a private group and maybe, five minutes or maybe it was in the five minutes the thing made a nice rise up and 
I was like in 80%, 18% profits or something like that, or 20% or what it was. But I also shared in a private group, RC is a very volatile coin. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check the chart in a moment. So I told him it's very volatile, but it's a very it's it's a very volatile, explosive coin. When it runs, it runs like like crazy, but it also can dump like crazy. So you have to be really experienced. So we can, what I do is I, I I use I use my I use my I use my stop loss in profits. I hire it up, and I made seven percent. And I'm eyeing to get in again, and the team is also eyeing to get in again at, at support levels. But now comes the trick. When I go to my office and I start trading, it's for me all about making money. So suppose you have a portfolio of 10k. When you have a portfolio of 10k, when you make like, let me just give you guys an example on a trade, you make like 100 bucks or 200 bucks. It's a lot. It's really a lot for a 10k portfolio. For sure, you can make 300,000, 2,000, 3,000. If suppose that we were in LRC and LRC made a rise of uh, 30 40 percent because it does it a lot, Loopring is famous on its big pumps. I tried, I tried to make that two, three, four K on a portfolio of, of, of 10K, but when it doesn't make that rise, so it rise up, came back. I, suppose I made 70 bucks on a 10K portfolio on that trade, I'm so happy with that 70 bucks. Because I made money. It's like going to your job. You go to work, you make like 100, 200, 300, 400 bucks a day. In trading, it's the same. You're going to make money. And when you make that 70 bucks, you had like 200 bucks profit, but you got stopped out at 70. You made 70 bucks. Don't be greedy. Don't think about, oh, wait a minute, I had 200 bucks. No, you had that 200 bucks in the hope that you could make with that 200, you could make 1K or 2K or 500 or 600, 700, whatever. But it didn't rise up. So no greed. It came back, stopped out, 70 bucks. You won. Because, you know, the big difference between me on CT and YouTube and most of the others, the others are only focused on we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. We're going to this. We're going to get rich. We're going. That's not my style. My style is I don't want to lose trades. I don't want to lose money. And if you don't want to lose money, you have to be a defensive trader. And that's what I'm trying to educate the ones in my private group, to be defensive traders. And you can also uh, look at it this way. You can suppose suppose you have made like gains like I shared lot of the past weeks. You buy like 15, I bought 15 Degen coins. Degen coins based on tokenometrics, etc., etc. I used a pretty, uh, a uh, nice amount and I bought in, just bought them in DCA and I bought them in and I'm leaving there. And if some of those will go to the moon, well, I'm going to be a happy man and I'm going to have, uh, going to make a lot of charity organization, uh, children organization, organizations happy. But for me, the most important thing is my trading. And that's what I focus on the most because the trading is what pays the bills, what makes me do nice things, go on holidays, etc. buy myself nice things or to my loved ones or whatever. And I want you retailers to learn the same thing. And if you want to be without a lot of greed, you have to think that way. So when you take 70 bucks, you take 70 bucks, you stopped out and said, be happy. No, no, but I had like 200 bucks and now I have 70. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to hold it. Wrecked. Wrecked. Totally right. So, okay, so that's the mindset about trading. So for now, what I wanted to show you guys on this chart is eight green wheels. So why do I share this? Why do I share this? Because the probability that we will make the ninth and the 10th and the 11th one, those probabilities are very low. So you have to always in, 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 in trading, investing, you have to always look at, uh, at, at, at the bigger picture and what's going on. So the, the chances that we will get 9, 10, 11 green weeks on, on a row are much lower than the chances that we will get a pullback. And that's why I show you guys this chart. It doesn't mean that the ninth one will for sure be a, a, a red one. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the chances that it will be a red one is much bigger, much higher than a white one or a green one, however you want to see it. And as you can see, we've got, we did it the last time was in 2017 and today's the last day. Are we go? Is this going to get green? I really don't know. I know that Bitcoin is bullish because we're still holding on the daily. We're holding support. And, but 
as I can see this, this it will probably end up red. And also keep in mind that Sundays are always very scammy price actions. And most of the times, like uh, in about four or five hours, Bitcoin wants to dump and wants and altcoins also dump again. It, it's not, it's, I don't know, it's an unwritten law. They, they like to dump at the end of Sundays. I don't know why they do this, but just keep that in mind. So we're trading, when we're trading, we're trading just a low time frames, but take the damn profits, take the damn profits every time, take the damn profit. And if you're greedy or you're, 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 you don't want to get out of the trade, at least when like Atom, Atom is, uh, I've been trading Atom now for days. What I do is very simple. When it makes a nice pump up, I decrease my decrease my position. So by 25, a maxi, you can, it's very simple. You just, I go check my maxi tutorial, guys. You're gonna press on 25% on, on, on or 50%. You, you press on last and then you put on uh, close short or close long and then you'll take your profits. You decrease, you decrease your amount, take the damn money. Or when you like, you're like, wait a minute. I went to trade, I made 200, 300, 500 bucks. I'm happy with this today. Tomorrow is another day. You close your position, go to your family, go enjoy life, go take a walk, go, go do some sports, whatever you want out there, go live your life. And tomorrow is another day. The markets are not going away. They're always here and opportunities will always be here. And I am sharing every day, I'm sharing possible opportunities to trade and to make money on. So keep this in mind. So this is about Bitcoin and the higher time frame. So for today, we got like this one. We can put it even on the daily so you guys can see it better. And let me put on the indicator so you can in understand also what I'm talking about. Look at it, guys. We are just testing, 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 but we have been testing a lot lately. So uh, at some point when we lose this one, uh, this could uh, create some more bearish harder dumps. But the dumps will be good for buying in my opportunity. But that's something for tomorrow or next week or whatever it is. We take it step by step. But for now, look at this guys. We've been testing it a lot over here. Also here and also here. And now we're going to test it again. So 41.5 is really a very important level to watch. And we could even drop to the, to the 40k levels. And I think that 40k, I think that there will be just like past time that there will be uh buyers over there to to hold the price because if you if, if you will miss the 40 well the 37 38 is just a matter of time in my opinion so that's about bitcoin so let me go and do some some altcoins let me first do the 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 dominance chart as you can see the dominance chart on the daily we lost we lost over here the indicator we came back retested it came back and i'm dropping back but Guys, when Bitcoin gets a bit bearish and, and it's losing strength, you always see this like you see this the, the, this price action going down. But so this is good for for altcoins. But guys, again, if Bitcoin makes big moves down, I'll, most of the altcoins will follow and will dump also. So keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. So the dominance is looking good for altcoins over here. And okay, and then I wanted to do some. I wanted to do some charting on, on, on the Cosmos, on, on, on Atom. Atom, guys, Atom is, uh, pff, it's a mess. Let me remove all this. Atom is, at this moment, it's it, it, it really, uh, it's, it's missing the power of Bitcoin. If, uh, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty confident if Bitcoin would make a move up, I think that Atom will fly up. I think that really Atom will fly up. So for now, uh, Atom is, uh, is, is in my opinion, it's, it's, it's just cooking. And But if Bitcoin decides to drop, I think that Atom will also drop. Because if you would go to the BTC, to the BTC you're seeing, uh, it's also losing, uh, it's losing a bit of power over here against Bitcoin. Uh, so it's not normally what we have to see over here. It's just like we saw on engine and all uh, injective, I mean, and on, on, on neutron. What you want to see is this thing really uh, making a move up. So today the close of this daily candle is very important to watch because if Atom really is bullish, we really need to make a high high over here. This thing needs to go against Bitcoin. And, and when we go into this region, so over here, well, that's when Atom will find this, find its way to just do its thing. So I'm really, Atom, I, it's really bullish in my, in my, in my opinion. But 
it isn't showing a lot of strength against Bitcoin. And that's something that I'm not seeing. I want to see because you can see it over here. We made like this drop over here. It needs to break this level over here and then just go on. If we would go to the ETH, uh, look at it, guys. I've, I've, I've shared it. I've shared it yesterday and talked about this also. It's not like this. So we've got over here this double, this is a triple even. Let me remove this all. I've showed you guys this one and this needs to break guys this needs to break if this thing breaks if this thing breaks it will be super 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 bullish for atom but guys as long as we didn't break it we have to remain defensive if this thing breaks up you see I've, I've got a lot of alerts over here so I really don't want to miss on any if this thing decides to go up from here against ethereum this will be also very bullish and by the way guys you guys know I keep showing you guys these double bottom patterns so if you see double bottom you can also check like ICP like all the ones that pumped that really pumped you see those double bottom patterns and the triples are even more 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 uh, more, more more powerful but I want this thing to come up and I want also this thing to, 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 to make a high, we need to break this level over here. Uh, we need this one to get to get to get broken over here. And when we break this one and we will go to this one and then you will see like Atom just jumping like 20, 30, 40 percent up. And that's I want to be in there when that happens. So that's something I'm eyeing. Um, I also tweeted today about Neutron. Uh, really, guys, this is one in the private group. I you know, I rarely, I, I don't like, I, I'm against, I'm against making, making futuristic predictions. I don't do that. It's really rarely when I do do that. And I did it on Neutron because uh, I don't know why I did it. The price was over here. The price was over here. Like tweeted, I shared it in the private group. I told them it's breaking out against Bitcoin and it's looking very, very strong and solid. And I told them we need a pullback over here. Well, we didn't reach these levels, but we... Uh, we nil this one over here a little bit higher and from there on almost a double 100% gains so I'm really eyeing to because over here you, I can show you guys this was the all-time high because that's why I keep telling you when you see coins making all-time highs against Bitcoin that's super bullish injective is, is exactly the same that's when you see the biggest pump I know that Almost nobody talks about this in, in, in CT because they are, I, I also tweeted today, I answered to Ram from Panther, he was talking about you have to be marathon on 10 kilometers, blah, de, blah, de, blah, de, blah, okay, fine, very good, nice, guys, we are traders, we try to make money, we got to make money, I really don't give a damn about injective or neutral or whatever, I'm trying to make money, I'm trying to eye what coin is getting momentum at what point and where can I make the highest gains, that's what I do, I take my gains and that's what I told them, holders against traders, traders need holders, why do we need holders, because we need holders to, to, to hold the bag so we can pump the bag when it breaks, breaks out, holders don't need traders, they have no benefit on traders, uh, Traders are enemies of hotless because uh, hotless, what they do is they go in, they take the gains, and then they get the freak out. So that's that's the big difference. So for now, injective, I, I, want, I want to say injective, injective really is, is pumping, but they have some mainnet. I don't know what date it is, and at some point this thing will come down. This thing will come down and... Um, maybe the team will short it, but not now, not for now, not for now. Um, so that's it for this vid. I got. A, I made a quick vid, guys, just about the macro where Bitcoin is heading. And for now, the first red one is coming. So let's just hope that we will not get a lot more dumps on Bitcoin. Let me go back to the chart and show you guys. So this is the first one. This level over here needs to hold the 37, 38. But guys, as long as we didn't break the Indy, we are still bullish. We are still bullish, so put your alarms on the Indy. When you see it coming down, that's when you have to start worrying. So if we go below the 41.3, 41.2, the, until the 40, this is where you have to be very careful because the first red weekly is maybe about to print. And when the first one print, let, 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 me, let, me, go, let, let me go check. Over here, we got a white one first and then a white one. Uh, where do we? But most of the times, most of the times, guys, most of the times, this is something I'm always checking. Uh, most of the times, 
we when you got one red candle it, it got followed by a second one because as you can see over here two here was one here was four it was three over here was one here was two here was two here was one three two one so we have to keep an eye on this so what is this thing going to do so that's why we're gonna just check it on the on the daily time frame and the indicator on and let's see how the momentum goes and guys by the way um still until the spot ETF gets approved i think that crypto will keep making gains making gains making gains uh maybe we'll get some flash crash because we haven't had one for a very very long time and i think that uh, a flash crash if it happens before the spot ETF gets uh, approved it's gonna be a buying opportunity a buying opportunity so when we got a flash quest suppose that bitcoin just makes a drop to 30k or whatever that's a buying opportunity and then i'm be eyeing the the the, the, the coins that i'm especially the the the, the atom the polka dot the glmrs the ocean the, the the coins that are still struggling that that didn't make the big rises up those are the coins if we get a flash quest those are the coins that i will be picking up and uh, guys these are just random coins that i'm just yelling about Everyone must do his own research on the coins that he likes fundamentally. And uh, for me, it's important that you buy the coins that are at bottom regions because they will rise the, the, the hardest uh, at some point. You can, I'd rather buy a coin that's from the 95% down from all-time high than I buy a coin that's like 20, 30, 40% down from all-time high. But that's just me, that's my style. Maybe it's wrong, maybe you should buy the more hyped ones that are already make, made a rise when they dump that you that you made make make much more. Chainlink is also, by the way, a coin that I'll be eyeing. If Chainlink will come back uh, at the 10 bucks regions, I will be very bullish on chain link to buy some chain link so okay guys um uh, that's about this and have a nice one and push on the like please if you want and again share me the altcoin that you want me to share because i would i i, I wanted to do it altcoin a uh, bit today but the altcoins are at this moment i think that the macro btc uh update is much more important for this moment and i will be sharing on uh, on twitter what i'll be doing or what i'll be not doing have a nice one and bye bye